Hey, what's up, y'all? How you guys doing? All right. I'm glad you guys made it in. I'm Cheyenne Ahmed. And what I want to do is I want to talk about everyday carry tools. And, um, you know, people think they're carrying a knife on them or they have a pistol on them. And they, whatever, whatever it is they feel safe for carrying on them to defend themselves. And you're still going to get your ass whooped if you don't know how to fight. All right? Straight up. If you want to know how to defend yourself, you want to know how to protect yourself, you want to deal with violent situations, you got to put yourself in training violent scenarios and you got to learn how to fight without a weapon. Because you're going to, as a civilian, you're going to have to be able to defend yourself in order to get to that weapon. All right? Otherwise, you're going to escalate the situation and people are going to get hurt and they don't even have to get hurt. If you know how to de-escalate a situation, you won't even get to fight. If the person attacks you, you're going to have to be able to defend yourself. Straight up. You're gonna have to be able to learn how to use that flinch response and use whatever's available to you. Right? I got a pick in my hand. Oh, well, this is available to me. Right? I can use this at any time. You know what I'm saying? Alright, you know what I'm saying? Right with the pick. Alright? So come on with it. I got some cool shit. Everyday carry personal protection tools. The best thing is a flashlight. My battery dead and shit. That's the best thing, all right? You can hit with it, you can grind them with it, you know what I mean? But you gotta know how to fight. You still gotta know how to throw a punch. You still gotta know how to throw a punch, all right? Come check out what we got. Kubatons. With that this can be used as a pocket stick cool but it's also a baton right you can hit 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 you know more pocket sticks love these because i can put them on my hands and be free to do whatever the fuck i want to do god damn 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 i got uppercuts i got hooks you gotta know how to fight if you're gonna use these tools you gotta know how to fight Check it out. Everything's designed for you to know how to throw a punch. Everything is designed, you gotta know how to throw a punch. If you don't know how to fight, it's useless. You wanna use a pen or ice pick? You wanna use the pen or an ice pick? You gotta be able to hold it. You gotta be able to get to it. You gotta be able to use it. So come on, check it out. We got these Kubaton daggers, plastic daggers. They're really cool to carry. You can carry a pen, a good tactical pen, or you can carry, these are little spikes. They're made out of um, polypropylene. They're really, really strong. These right here are made out of wood. These are for spinning yarn. These are little old school wooden spools for spinning yarn. Pretty dope, right? These are why I use these for training, and sometimes I just throw them in my pocket. It's nice little fist loads. Big ups to my man, Star Nisa. You know what I'm saying? He makes weapons. He's out there in Hawaii. He makes traditional Hawaiian weapons. This is made out of iron wood or iron dagger. Iron wooden dagger, excuse me. That we made. Really, really nice. Pretty much a pocket stick for Kupatan. But every culture has like their like version of a palm stick or a fist load. You know? Put that pick right there. This is one of my favorites. It's made out of buffalo horn. It's from the Philippines. Check that out. Look at that. Beautiful gashes. Look at that. Rib breaker. You know? But you still gotta know how to use it. Alright? You still gotta know how to get in. You, know? you still gotta be able to... You gotta be able to use it. You gotta be know how to use it. You still got to know how to fight. Plastic knives, leather openers. These are really good things to carry. If you got a bathing suit on, if you got a bathing suit on, and you, you, just, you can just put tuck one of these into the side of your bathing suit, nobody got to know. Just like this. I'll do it inside my underwear so you can get an idea. It's really safe. Move it over to the side a little bit. 
That way you can bend and move without poking yourself. It's very comfortable. You know, you can have it, you could just put it to the side of your bathing suit like that if you want. Off the side, you can run it down the seam right here so it moves around without poking you like so. I'll show you again. You know, these are really, really good ladies. Guys are at the beach. Or plastic daggers. Plastic daggers are great. They can get into a lot of places. They're real slim. You know, of course, my favorite, straight razor. Those of you who know me know I carry these right here, right? But y'all also know I love my straight razors. And the beautiful thing about a straight razor is that you can use them just like you use a cooler top. Same way you use this. You train with this, you got this. You don't have to deploy the blade. You know, I deploy the Excuse me. I deploy the blade when I'm ready and when I feel safe to deploy the blade. You know, I get in, I'm a fight with it. Uh, uh, I can puncture with it. This one here, especially because this one's kind of pointy, so I can really get some puncturing in. You know, really hammer away, get some really some bone breaking strikes in there. Get them some nice little minor fractures all along his forearm, his radius, and his ulna. You know, crack them up with this nice little point right here. You know, you can really, really put some damage in. And I'll deploy the blade when I feel safe and ready to deploy the blade and get a cut that I want to get. That I want to get. Okay, I ain't got to do too much bit of knives. You know, you know what a knife can do. The puncture, it can lacerate. You know, but you don't have to open it up. You, gotta, you, can, use, you can use what's available to you. Right? You don't have to escalate the situation. Now, this one. Alright, and also got the other thing. You know the big daddy right here. Now, before I talk anymore, I want to make sure that it's clear. Now we know the gun is clear. Check it out. Look in there, good guys. You see ain't nothing in the room in the chamber. You see there ain't nothing in no clip in there. So I'm not gonna be an idiot out here, alright? magazine is right all right so now what we're going to go in to is pocket carry versus center line carry or appendix carry versus hip carry um for the firearm is what we use it for hip carry but these are all going to be concealed carry methods you know i don't believe in carrying your gun open for everybody to see i don't care what state you in you know if you're going to carry a firearm, conceal it, all right? Firearms always escalate the situation. If you're going to carry one, conceal it. And right, I'm going to show you how you can use it without discharging it. And using it effect effectively, using the same principles as a coupon and empty hand, all right? So come on, let's check this out. All right, so now you're still with us. And if those of you who, are, who, who just joined us, I'm Cheyenne Amanda, and we're going over everyday concealed carries and weapon deployment and understanding how you have to be able to use empty hand principles before you can get to your tool, all right? I have several tools on me. Both, all of them are in different places, all right? Uh, pocket carry. I have, what I have here is that little horn Kubaton I showed you, right? Really easy to get to. Just slide in your pocket right here. Pocket carry is very good because you can just put your hands in your pockets. It's very casual. A lot of people stand in line. I stand in line like this all the time without nothing in my pocket. And they get it out. All right? Really cool to get to. Really easy to get to. If you want to be, you see a situation, you have a, something like this in your hand, you can get to it without the person seeing you get to it without drawing attention to the situation. All right? This is a threat. You, you recognize a threat, your hands are in your pocket. You see a threat. Your fingers in your hand. You're ready to go. You're ready to rock. Whatever you got. Right. If you want to shake up the tool, I like to hold it like this. Hands on the hips. Just like this. Alright? Center line carry. Anything that's right here. Or appendix carry. Anything that's within this area. I can right here. I have a knife. Alright? Really good. The center line carry benefits that center line carry is you can get to it 
in the middle of the fight. Right? If I'm in a situation, I pinch, I can draw and get to my tool when I need to get to it. Alright? So that's the benefit of something like that. Hip carry, I would only carry fire in the hip. Alright? Same principle as the center line carry because it's underneath my shirt, so we're dealing with concealed tools here. Split, I have to lift clear my shirt and striking at the same time. I like to use pectoral index, thumb index, you know, so that way I can keep my firearm pointed at the person while I distract them with this hand, control and manipulate them with this hand, keeping my body clear from the fire as I discharge. So when I'm using my firearm in a fight, and I'm this is, it's gonna be up here. I'm not gonna have it out here so everybody can see that I have a gun out. I'm gonna have it here in pectoral index. I'm kind of hiding it, stopping them from seeing it, stopping them from um, getting to it. All right, pectoral index. I can move, I can move. The bullet trajectory is going straight into around their hip, belly button area. And it's gonna match my sternum whenever I turn my sternum from zero to seven yards. Right, so the seven yards is going straight and my sternum goes. So I'm crouched up right here, my sternum's lined up with her belly button. That's where the bullet's going, all in her belly button. Bang, 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 bang. Alright? Being this close, the slide, the shots fired does not inhibit the slide. Okay, so the, the action of the firearm is not compromised. My body is not compromised. The only idiot thing I, I can do is put my hand here. I will stay in my cover. Stay in my cover. Stay in my cover. Okay. I may grab them here. My trajectory is down here. But I want to, when I pull, I like to stay in my cover. As I discharge back. Okay. That's fire. From hip cap. We we'll also will do the firearm later appendix carry. We we'll also do the firearm for the pocket carry as well. All right. So let's get to the bag. We we'll start off with the center line carry. It's going to work with the knife. Threat comes in. I want good places. I want to be. I'm usually, usually things start with a verbal confrontation. We start from a verbal confrontation. He pushes me. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want no problem. Or he approaches me in a certain way, I automatically take my b-boy stance, right? I like to call it the b-boy stance. Take my b-boy stance and hear what he got to say. You know, I can take my b-boy stance like this and hear what he got to say. From here, I have to use my flinch response. Attack comes, that's my flinch response. Flinch response. And that's not gonna stop it alone. I still gotta need time to get to my tool. We're gonna use the center line, excuse me. To get to my tool in the center line, I got all these tools on. <laughs> I normally don't carry all this on me. It's even just usually one thing, not a whole bunch of things. Doesn't get that clear. I'm not the dude that walks around with guns, and knives, and cool times, and bows, like a Rambo or some shit. You know what I'm saying? That don't happen. All right, so here we go. Fresh response, first response. First response, right. cover. With that cover is another sweat. Now I'm going to pull. Right. So that, I can have a pull, pull, upper cut and I'll pull. Back fist, start there. Now I deploy my The low line cut, stab, stab. See, they don't have to even know that you have a knife. They just know that they're getting hit, 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 hit. Or you have something in your hand, now they're getting cut, 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 cut. All right. Now we're going to go over hip cap using the firearm this time. Um, come around here on this side so you can see. Okay. I'm still using the same flinch response, right? Here, here. Whatever I have, right? All my flinch response is where I clear my shape. Okay. I'm going to hit 
and get him back. I'm going to get, get him back. I'm going to draw my five. I like to use the thumb. Um, it's thumb pectoral index. Right here. Okay. Boom. Strike. I'm ready to shoot. If I need to rack, the rack under cover, I need to rack. Under cover. I'm still maintaining my thumb pectoral index. When I rack, I turn my body and drop my body weight. That way I main control it. I don't separate myself from the weapon and make it available for them to grab it. It's here. Boom. That's my rack. Okay. That's off the hip. We'll go over pocket carry with the angle also. Right now we're just gonna do pocket carry with the pivot time. Very slim and pad. When you when you're attacking, you know you want to have an attitude about it. You, know, you want to use that fence response. Even when you're training, you want to be extremely offensive. You do not want to be polite to your bag. It's a bag, crack that. When you're when you're being attacked, you do not want to be polite to your attacker or polite to your aggressor. There's no polite here. You call them everything you can think of that is derogatory, disrespectful. When you may be the most offensive being you can be to your attack. Okay? That brings in a certain particular type of attitude and aggression on your part. So your aggression emotion. So when you, when you bring that aggression and that attitude, like me and my family's Jamaican. So I would like to say all kind of Jamaican by your purpose. As soon as I move in this way. <laughs> So you want to have that attitude, right? So always have that type of aggression, all right? Pocket carry, simple, that's it. You don't have to lift your shirt or anything like that. It's more a casual, laid back, sneaky response. Hey, what the fuck that? Break their faces up, mark them. Alright? And I'm gonna use the straight razor the same way. It's casual, lay back up. Alright? So strike me too. Just there. You do it off the jingle, make it look great. That jing that I have. This is not a This is where I get it from. That's where I get it. From. Right there. All my weapons. Right here. 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 Person, you within five yards, 
that gun might be there, but you might be seriously hurt. What are the things to keep in consideration? Center line carry, hip carry, pocket carry front, pocket carry back. Work on those things. Play with what's more comfortable for you. I say use them all, because we always have keys in our pocket, things in our pocket, flashlights in your pocket. You know, you can keep your knife in your center line, feel like you carry a little blade when you you can keep your straight razor in your pocket. They don't have pocket clips. The straight razors fall out the belt, fall out your pants. So I put them in my pocket. That's when I saw like doing it. Okay, pocket carry. Yeah, that's when pocket carry. Now, keys. I forgot pocket carry with a pistol. Also, a pocket carry. When you carry a weapon, don't have anything but that weapon or you know, tool in your pocket. All right? I think some of my pockets are good. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna pocket carry a pistol. Have it here and a pocket carry holster. Check it out, stick and carry. They're really cool. You can put it in your sweats, it sticks to your clothing. With the firearm, it comes out nice and slick, nice and smooth. Look at that. Looks like I have a bunch of shit in my pocket, but you can't tell that it's a firearm in my pocket. Because my shirt's open my pocket, I still have to clear the shirt. All right. Still have to clear the shirt. Still have to deal with the front. Still have to cover up. Still have to maintain it. All right. Might not be able to get to it. Throw a couple punches. Now I got to Now I still might not get to it. I'm struggling to get it. But I have to hit him again. Oops. Oops. all I got. So play around with whatever you like to carry. Play around getting to it. But whatever you do, learn how to fight. Take a boxing class. Take a Muay Thai class. Take a Capoeira class. Take a Krav Maga class. Take a martial art. Come train with me. I teach, I do Capoeira Jean Gaul and I teach combatives. And I'm based upon Capoeira Jean. You know? Hope you dug, hope you dug this video. Talk to you guys soon.